Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a pretty good route to get through the KO Perico heist. Uh, I won't be really going through any of the prep, but I can show you all the settings that I use to uh, get through the heist. So, Kasatka approach vehicle, we'll use the drainage tunnel for the infiltration point. Um, and then our escape point will also be the Kosatka. Now it says that it's going to be north of the map, but we're going to ignore that. And we're going to just go with the time of day, daytime, and we're going to use suppressors for our weapons. Now this one's a really good route because it's pretty predictable. There's a few couple things to look out for, but I'll show you as we get through it. Now I'm going to bring up the map to quickly show you just the general route that we go through. Um, so once we exit the drainage tunnel, we're gonna sort of head in a uh, easterly direction um, of the compound. And then we're gonna wait, make our way to uh, Rubio's main office. So we're just gonna swim through all this to get to the drainage tunnel and obviously avoiding all the mines. I really like this method because it's, you know, uh, it's, you know, once you get the hang of it, it's very predictable. So once we approach the grate, we're going to go ahead and use the cutting tool to cut it. Also later on I'll give you a few uh, pretty good tips on how to get through the the fingerprint color. So that's going to be pretty good. So we're going to get through this and cut it. And so still talking about this method. This method will normally take around 10 minutes. Under 10 if you're really good and you get the hang of it. Alright, so we're just going to make our way up now, and I'm just showing you guys the map again to show which way I go, and then we're going to get through it. Now there's a couple guards to get through, but I'll show you as we get uh, as we uh, move on here. So make our way up the stairs, and then there's going to be a guy on the right. Next thing I do is normally I sort of track this guy. He's going to jump over uh, the fence there, and then we're going to get him once he stands still. So we're going to make our way up, and then we're going to do, once I get through here, we're going to make a right, and I'm going to, and I'm looking out for a guard who's on the left. Here he is, walking his way, make his way towards me. Um, it's a little bit tricky. He is moving. I also like to get rid of the camera because sometimes it might spot the dead body. So once you get rid of the camera, it should be all good. And at this point, I'm sort of keeping my eye on the minimap for the juggernaut. He's all good, so he's pretty far. So I get through this gazebo, then I target that guy up there and make my way up to the stairs. So I go around this corner and there's probably a guy around here. His back is facing us, so that's always good. And then we're going to make our way up the stairs. I normally wait around here just because I know he stands still. Um, but you can move forward a little bit and shoot him around the other corner. But I usually just chill here. Boom! Alright, so pretty much this is the way to the main office. And this will lead us to the underground vault. Now if you're lucky, you might find a couple gold bars here, or even a painting. But I did not. Alright, so here comes the fingerprint cloner part. Um, so there's a pretty good method to kind of systematically get through the prints. Obviously the first one is always easy, and as you do more, it gets a little bit harder. But what I like to do is, let's say you're on the third slot, I usually go back to the top and then count my way down to the third, because I know that's the right one. 
So I do that one pretty quickly. So same method. And I go all the way to the top. One, two. And then top, two, three. And I go to the top again. Three, four. And I keep doing that once I uh, get all the fingerprints. And it's a lot better than looking to the other side to try and, you know, so, uh, sort of eyeball it. This way, you can kind of, you know, count it. Um, and you know it's going to be right. But that's how you do it. That's a really easy way to do it. If I didn't explain that clear enough, definitely let me know. And I'll try and clarify. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make our way down the elevator. So this bit here is pretty much straightforward. We're gonna use the uh, cutting tool to get through the gate, and then we're gonna use the plasma cutter to cut through the glass. So, pretty familiar at this point. Alright, once you've got the target, I usually make my way straight up, back from the elevator, and I usually head out that way, because um, this way I can sort of keep my eye on the, uh, the juggernaut, and I can kind of see, okay, he's kind of positioned far away. So anyway, I make my way down the stairs, and I take a sharp left here and jump over here, and deliberately face plant to the ground. Totally intentional. Anyway, we're going to bolt straight to the exit. Now you can either kill the guards, I wouldn't, I usually try to avoid um, killing him because the guy behind him, you'll see him, he's walking, so we'll spot his dead body, so I normally just avoid it all together and sort of run around the curve. And if you're lucky enough, you'll reach the exit. So anyway, I'm bringing up the map again, and this is sort of the route that I take uh, for the exit, and that's kind of where I end up, you know, to finish off uh, the heist. Um, I travel south, so... Completely optional from here. I usually grab the bike um, just to get out faster, but you could just run. Um, it's pretty chill from here. So I gotta grab a bike and I sort of avoid any of the roads because just in case any of the guards are driving down. So I'm kind of just going straight into the grassy bits. Just trying to avoid any guards. Now there's one that just appeared there, so I'm sort of avoiding it. Anyway, you can kind of see where I'm heading. Now at this point, I wouldn't recommend Vin Dieseling it, you'll see why. So I w would rather recommend just sort of easing into the water and then swimming out. Because if you do what I do right here, <laughs> I turn around and there's literally a mine there. Sweet! I got lucky there, so y you can do that too if you want to risk it, but, you know. If it works, it works. Anyway, I'm bringing up the map again, and this is sort of the, uh... The, the route that I take, and that's sort of where I end up at the end of that line. And I'm pretty much just swimming away until it gets pretty deep. Um, and I would also recommend to just swim just slightly below uh, the sea level to the surface. Um, that way you can sort of trigger that point of, oh yeah, you've escaped. Kind of just swimming around, swimming around, and here I'm kind of just saying, all right, this is where I need to go. So I'm a little bit off, so I'm pretty much going to swim my way to that direction. And basically what you want to do is just keep swimming until where it says Escape Cayo Perico at the bottom pretty much disappears. Once that disappears, you pretty much got it. So I'm just going to keep swimming, keep swimming. So I'm pretty much there, kind of just eyeballing it, but yeah, just keep swimming until that disappears, just like that, and that pretty much, you, you don't have to do anything, you just have to wait just a couple seconds, um, and it'll trigger the finish, but you've done it. And there you go, that's, um, that's a, 
you know, pretty decent way of um, getting through the compound um, undetected. Hopefully that helped and that was useful. If, there, if you have any questions that need clarifying, definitely let me know. And there you go.